MicroRNA is a small RNA of only 22 nucleotides, but they play big roles in gene regulation in animals and plants. Our group at IBS RNA Research Center and Seoul National University has been investigating how microRNAs are generated and regulated. In the current study, we served the structure of Drosia, a key biogenesis factor in the microRNA pathway. The structure, together with the biochemical data, explain how microRNAs are recognized and processed. Here's a primary trunk reef of microRNA, also known as prime microRNA, which is transcribed from the microRNA genes by an enzyme called RNA polymerase 2. A typical prime microRNA takes a shape of stem loop with three major parts, the apical loop, the stem, and the single jointed tails on both sides. Let the two parts together define the major junction. Because the microRNA sequence embedded in the stem region, the prime microRNAs need to be processed by consecutive actions of two under three types enzyme, dosha and dicer. The initial processing is mediated by dosha. Dosha makes a complex with two molecules of DDCA8, this complex called microprocessor. Microprocessors process a prime microRNA by cleaving the stem of prime microRNA at one helical turn away from the beta junction. The product of microprocessor called pre microRNA it then is processed by DICER, another RNA3 enzyme. DICERs measure two helical turns from the end of the pre microRNA and cleave up the loop. Subsequently, the RNA2 plus released from DICER and loaded on acronyl protein. Once loaded, the RNA2 plus is unwound, one strand is discarded, while the other is maintained as mutual microRNA. This is how microRNA is made in animal cells. Our group identified the Drusha more than a decade ago. However, its detailed mechanism is still poorly understood due to the limited structural information. Here we solved the crystal structure of Drusha in complex with a small fragment of DGCL8. This is the three-dimensional model of Drusha. From the end terminus of the protein, this part is the central domain. And then two RNA's three domains are following. And here is a double-stranded RNA binding domain at the C-terminus. Surprisingly, the overall structure of Drusha is very similar to that of Dicer. In Dicer, these are two RNA3 domains, and platform and party domains are at the bottom. The connector helix in red color is inside of the platform. Similarly to Dicer, the central domain of Drusha is also composed of three domains, platform, the pod-like domain, and the connector. The ribbon diagrams show how Drusha and Dicer are folded. The connector helix inside of the platform is now shown very well. Platform and connector domains of two proteins are very well superposed. Next, R3D dimers are also superposed very well. This structural similarity suggests that Drusha has diverged from an ancestor of Dicer. Interestingly, Drusha has more stooped posture compared with Dicer. Because of the conformational differences, Dicer has a flat RNA binding trap which can bind the long double-stranded RNA. But Drusha has a big bump here to block the RNA binding. 
So we can only accommodate a shorter RNA. To understand the detailed interaction of Drosia with prime microRNA, we built a model with RNA. From previous studies, we know that the first RNA is three domain of Drosia, cause three prime strand of prime microRNA here, and the second one cause five prime strand here. Therefore, this RNA should fit into the protein in this orientation, not in the other way around. This is the RNA bound model of Drusha. An interesting feature in Drusha, distinctive from other RNA3 enzymes, is this long extended region from the first RNA3 domain. The region is located near the basal junction and buried in the platform domain to constitute a big bump. The distance between the bump and the catalytic site of the first RNA3 domain is about 28 angstrom, which is also the length of 11 base pair. In contrast, in the RNA bound DICE model, the double stand RNA can be extended up to the bottom of DICE. In our structure of DROSA, in complex with the C terminal tail of DDCR8, we found that DROSA has two DDCR8 binding sites, one on each RNA3 domain. One will be here, and the other is here. The interaction of the two DDCR8 with DROSA are rather asymmetric. Now, we will assemble the full microprocessor complex using the previous knowledge and the available partial structure of DDCR8. Since the RHCD domain DDCR8 is known to interact with the apical element near the apical junction, this should be located here. Then, double strand RBD must be located between the RHCD and C terminal tail and they are expected to interact with the upper stand of the prime microRNA. So here is the current model of the primary microRNA binding by microprocessor. Microprocessor takes an elongated shape and covers the whole length of the primary microRNA. From the basal junction to the apical junction, this model is highly consistent with the previous result from the biochemical studies. We've been investigating um, uh, 잘못 들어왔어요. 이렇게 자꾸 반복해서 했나요? 그냥 딱 갔나요? <웃음>